Hi everyone, it's Sunday the 30th of January and it's 10 past 12 in the afternoon. Now, in this video, aside from some random ramblings, I'm going to be fitting this LED light fitting in the bathroom. Getting rid of the old fluorescent double D tube fitting. Which, uh, I hate the damn things. Anyway. This is just a um, Lovano Lux fitting from Lidl's. It was only six ninety nine. I did them in round or a square version. Um, installation looks simple enough. Should be a case of disconnecting the wire from that one and just connecting it to that. Once I've got this screwed up on the ceiling, of course. Which, uh, looking at the fixings, is only three screws. So. First thing we need to do is turn the power off. So, I'll put that down there. Now, I've got the bathroom light turned on. You can see it there, just. So, I need to find which one's the lighting. I think. <clears throat> there we go, we're off. Right, so I'm going to reposition you, and I've just realised I've forgotten to get a drill bit. <laughs> um, so I'll reposition you guys, go find a suitable drill bit, and uh, should be good to go. Right, I'm back. You can just about see my forehead at least. So, first thing we're going to do is take that down. Something else I've got out of Lidl's as well. This uh, little screwdriver kit. VED one. It's just one of those where you've got a universal handle and you can choose your screwdriver bit to connect. I need a Phillips. I've seen electricians on YouTube use um, similar things. You just pop your bit in there. Okay, so you get them in. Ah, I see. I was just trying to figure out how you got it uh, to release the bit. So it is actually locked in there, and there's a little thing on the side here that you have to slide. There's that bit. You slide that forwards. And take it out. Okay, all right. And one screw. Well, no idea what that was up there. And if I remember rightly, there's only two screws in here because I dropped one a long, long time ago. And that went down to <laughs> Because you know, I had to take this off to get a bloody spider out of it. That's exactly what I did with the screw that's missing, and it went down the um, plug hole in the sink. Oh, whoops. What's off? Should be too hot because it wasn't on for too long. Right. Problem is. Right here, I haven't got a lot of uh, storage space. I hope it's going to stay where I put that. Unplug the D tube. Fun fact I've never, in the 13 years I've been in this flat, nearly 13 years, I've never changed the uh, tube in this. Yet, when mum was living. Uh, just down the road here, in the three years she was there, she had to replace hers at least three times. There's three tabs there. Holy shit, I might be shortening those wires. <laughs> Flame and hell. 
Ah, no screw screwdriver required. Oh no, wouldn't it be great if uh, screw holes on that the new light fit and actually lined up with these three? That was a big house spider that was stuck in this as well that I uh, had to get out. Might have to go and find some uh, wire cutters. Well, there's some odd colouring as well. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but we've got the modern brown colour, which is going to live. But we've got the old school black colour here for the uh, neutral. Oddly. Right. So I'm presuming you just push down on that yet. There you go. There's one. I'm hoping I might take the earth out actually. Because uh, I was just hoping, you know, I don't clang either of these wires on the earth and cause the RCD trip because my computer is still on. Perhaps I should have shut that down first just in case. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting the wires to be that long, so I didn't get my um, wire cutters. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and get some wire cutters because they're a bit too bloody long. That's um, ridiculous, actually. <laughs> they need to be about that long. That should be plenty. Right, let me just pause you for a minute and I'll go and get the uh, wire cutters. Got some. Only the other ones, but they'll do. All right. That's a lot of bare wire for the earth there as well, isn't it? So, as I said, that should be plenty long enough. with this one this hasn't got variable speed it's just basically on or off oh, let's just push the plug straight back in I think oh. yeah. big owl <laughs> with the connector block up there well, then again, this was put up, what, what did I say, I've been here 13 years, really. Actually, I think this month, it would have been up about 13 years. Right. I can see where some other light fittings were fitted up here as well in the past. There's a hole there. A couple of holes there as well. Right, anyway. No, this is a smaller base, I ain't gonna... Tint gonna fit more. Right. What I shall do then... This um, cheap guild drill a bit <coughs> might be cheap, but it's got a fair bit of torque. Right. I just want to mark the uh, screw holes off. So I think the best way to do this is to poke. Was in there. That might, as I've wired it in singles like this. Not explain why the uh, neutrals in uh, old colours. Trying to get the ground wire in there. Was like pulling the sleeve off. 
Oh, I've pulled the grommet out. I'll get that to go back in. Yeah. Right. Uh, I was hoping I could cover the old screw holes, but that ain't gonna happen. All right, drill. That was the only one he had at the time. Or they had. Could have been a female electrician, couldn't it? I mean, I've got a tiny little one here for the earth. goes or something I'd have probably had changed these but I've done 13 years I can't see them anything hurt and I will just possibly check those screws just make sure they're in there nice and tight All right what did I do with my little bag of uh, fixings for it there it is be So much for random ramblings, I've not really done any of that, have I? Well, that's a bad thing. Right, that's one new hole. Got to tap that in. That's another nice new hole. And there's another nice new hole. One little wacky stick. Perhaps I should have gotten an exercise up. out of this and put the wires through and then push the grommet on. I might try that actually if I can get it off. Or not. Right. I'll just I'll just leave it in place then. Just poke the wires back through. still in there nice and tight so I'm happy with that. See what the hell I'm doing. Right, there's a screw. Where's the plug? Right there. So if I just get it started. Oh, 
that. If I can get all three started, then I can zip them up at the drill. random ramblings until after this. <laughs> My brain can only do one thing at a time. I pushed him too far now. now. Let's just get it screwed in. That's uh no, never mind, I got it. Thought I'd lost me um screwdriver tip for this. I thought I'd pulled the uh, grommet in nicely, but it didn't. It's just one little bit there. Well, I suppose I'll be all right. I mean, it's not it's not scrubbing on the uh, doodad. Right, I think I will actually short these wires properly. just to avoid Did the screws for you. A lot of times when these connector blocks are included, I screw the screws all the way in. It's best thing about these, you can just change a bit. You don't need like a half a dozen bloody separate screwdrivers. So that one's got to go there. Of course I will check these, this works before I put the cover on, although the cover is just a push and twist. Don't 
me, that one's not unscrewed enough. Brown to brown, and as the neutral, for some reason, is in the old school colours of black, that's got to go to blue. How many people will call me up for using these for strippers rather than proper wire strippers? I've been using them for years. Right. Get our black in and that is it. I'm guessing one of the reasons this light is cheap is because I've used one of these and not one of those pushing clip connectors like the other light fitting had. Right, let's get power on shall we? Will it go bang? Or will it actually work? Right, three, two, one. Ooh. It's actually a lot brighter than I thought it would be. Just turn that off so I can get the um, cover back on. Because I'm scared of an electric shock, it's just it's rather bright. <laughs> uh, right, so we'll line those little notches up with the pins. And that should just twist like that. And in theory, we should be completely done now. Or better. Instant light as well, and not a light that sometimes decides it's going to take like uh, five minutes before it does anything. Right. Just got clean up to do now. Um, ooh, incoming pause because I've got a few things in the uh, lounge that I want to show you. So be right back.